Okay, so when it comes to ring technology, we've really sort of maximized the number of options that we can offer customers for their applications. Really depends on the type of load you're looking to move, um, the speed you're looking to move, where the load is, is positioned. And in terms of site diameters, you know, we start at 93 millimeters. And if we go up to precision machine segment, such as this big bad boy, um, we, you know, the sky's your limit really. How, how big do you want to go? The fact that we can include an integral gear, that solves your drive problems. If you need to increase capacity, we start at three bearings around a ring, but you can go up to eight. Also, depends on the orientation of the ring, you can mount these horizontally or vertically. Okay, so HEPCO have a large uh, range of rail sizes, specifically the dimension across the apex of the Vs. Uh, to mention 25, 44, 76, those are just three of them. What we do with our rings and our segments is we apply exactly the same dimensions. So here we have a size 25 across the Vs, a 44, 76, and so on and so on. Uh, what does that give us? That gives us the opportunity to fuse systems together, to fuse straight line technology and rotary technology and create the track systems that you can see here, the start of a track system that HEPCO are very famous for. So that's how easy it is to configure a HEPCO motion track system. Uh, complete flexibility in terms of the, uh, the, the shape of the design, whether it be oval, whether it be rectangular, whether you're using it vertically, horizontally, number of carriages, drive type, the choice is yours. Uh, that's how flexible and how you can apply it to your machine and what your machine requires. But we can go further. We have various driven options that will also uh, help you with design, maybe take some of the, the pain out of design and some of the cost out of the design, of course, as well. Um, let's start with DTS, which has been around for a few years now and has been uh, well proven in a number of um, diverse industries uh, for its accuracy, for its longevity, um, and the fact that it just will not fail. Um, what we're looking at here is the trip latch mechanism that will actually prevent catastrophic failure. We also have DTS2, which is a scroll driven system which facilitates even higher speeds. We have GFX and one track, which I know Alec will be talking about in the next video. And last but not least, we have DTS Plus, which is more new to us, but facilitates even higher speeds. Yes, around those bends as long as the straights and also higher payloads. And here we are in the HEPCO motion assembly area. We are looking at a DTS Plus uh, developed at HEPCO Korea, uh, a further example of how we continue to innovate. Uh, specifically here, we have the, the high duty uh, fixing clamp that facilitates higher speeds, higher payloads. This has been hugely successful in our Asian markets, uh, not least due to the fact that it opens up applications uh, and industries that were previously beyond the reach of normal DTS.